Hey YouTube, it's Thomas here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the Focal 926. So Focal is a French company and they make everything in-house. So nothing here is made in China. They get to control how they want to build the drivers, the tweeters, the cabinet and so forth. So the good part is that they have full control in how they want to design a speaker. So from what I read on the internet, because of that, their crossover doesn't have to be over, overly complicated and therefore they're very efficient speakers. These are rated at 91 dB and uh, apparently you can drive them with tube, uh, tube integrated amps. So on top you have the, the tweeter. Uh, this is a one inch aluminum magnesium inverted dome tweeter. It looks like the 836. It looks like the uh, 10282, but this is not brilliant. Uh, next you have the flax cone. If you touch it, it feels a bit like paper. Uh, this is the only uh, one that has this kind of uh, woofers. Uh, when I say only one, because uh, Fakar has uh, many different series, right? You have the entry level 700 series, after that is 800, and this is now the 900 series. The 900 series is probably around 5,000. This is how much it costs uh, the speaker. And so if you keep going down, you have the two woofers. You have, uh, sorry, the, the port. You have one here, and you have one underneath, just like the 836. Now, A36 has two in front and one in the bottom. Um, this is the glossy piano black one. I think this is the best looking one. And in the front and at the back, if you touch it, this is leather. Uh, originally, I thought it was full leather, but this is actually uh, real leather. On top, you have a glass plate. I think it's a glass plate. Uh, overall, uh, the finishing on this is top notch. And I think it's because of the fact that it has a it's supposed to have a simple crossover. Uh, you don't have the option to buy amp it. After all, at 91 dB, technically you don't need uh, buy amp buy amping it. Uh, any amp should, in theory, drive it. Now, in theory, is one thing. In my experience, I personally prefer um, driving it with a, a power amp that has a lot of watts. Um, but from what I see on the internet, maybe maybe it's not true. Maybe you can get away with 50 to 70 watts. So for this uh, Fakao speaker, I actually went out and borrowed uh, my friend's uh, power amp that's around 55 watts just to see how it sounds like with a low power uh, amp. I'll make a separate video for it because it's a bit long what I did. I, I, you know, I tried five amps and a lot of speakers trying to get it to sound the way I like it. Um, and that's the reason why I love Focal speakers, but I also hate them. Because uh, it, it, it took me three days to get it to sound perfect. So to describe how it sounds, what I did, I went on the internet and I looked for words. Like there's a whole vocabulary list of, uh, of describing how a speaker sounds. I guess I'll maybe link it in the description. And then I start checking out, okay, this is what, what, what I'm hearing, right? So... If I look at the list, it's, uh, what do I see? Okay, it's bright, it's crisp, the decay is fast, a lot, has a lot of depth, uh, spacious, good speed and transient, and uh, it's a very high resolution. But guess what? I just described all the focal speakers that I listen to. And this has all the same characteristic as the other focal speakers I listen to. The only difference is the way that the bass comes out. It doesn't have the same punch as the 836. It doesn't go as low as the 1028. What it has, and I heard that in the first three minutes when I put uh, the first song on, is that the bass sounds very light. And I didn't know why until I read, oh, the flax technology, that's why. It's a very interesting, uh, it's very different than uh, all the speakers I've tried. Uh, you can say that it sounds more sophisticated than the 836, uh, but at the same time, I can see that uh, a lot of people would prefer the 836 over this because the bass is more entertaining on the 836. I personally find this sound a, a more high-end, a bit more sophisticated. The bass gets a bit, you get a little bit, it takes a bit of time to get used to because it sounds very light. <laughs> it's, it doesn't sound thin, it sounds light. 
and I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, but it's a good thing because I didn't want it to sound like the 836. I want it to sound different and this is what I got. It, it sounds different. So in short, uh, I like this speaker, uh, but it took me a few days to get it to sound the way I like it to. Uh, given the fact that I have like a lot of amps and a lot of speaker cable. So it was uh, easy for me, especially now, uh, now that I've experienced with uh, the 836 and 1028. Now for somebody like, uh, you know, not like me who have multiple amps to try, this is what I would call a high risk, high return uh, speaker. That means that if you bring this home, there's a good chance that it won't match with your gear. But if it does, it sounds amazing. I love it, especially for guitar. I can hear the reverb. The details coming from it, the, the, the openness coming from it is amazing. The clarity, you, you have to audition it to, to understand what I'm uh, talking about. So if you're questioning if it's worth the risk, uh, let me tell you a story. Uh, I did a video on the Verity Audio Pacifa <laughs> recently. That's a $25,000 speaker. So what happened is that that day my friend came with me. He owns the Focal 1028 and we were testing it, uh, the Pacifa, before we start, start filming the video. And my friend told me he prefers the Focal over the Pacifa. Now my friend is somebody who picks, uh, who picks apart uh, music when he listens to it. He's the type who would just go into deep meditation, shut everything down and just listen, right? So if you're that kind of person who likes, uh, who likes to listen to a lot of detail, who likes to listen to sound and, you know, it, the, the audio file type of uh, speaker, then Focal is definitely your cup of tea. So even though the 1028 was a $10,000 speaker, he preferred it over the 25,000 uh, Pacifa. Now, of course, it's a question of taste. That's one thing. But it goes to show that if a cow, if you can get it right, it can compete with the big boys. So when you think about getting this, bring this home, right? If you can get this right, you're going to get a lot out of these speakers. All right, I guess I'll wrap it up at this point. So if you get a pair of Focals and if it doesn't sound good, it just means that it doesn't have good synergy with your current equipment. And now that I've owned the 926, I can understand, I can understand why they price it above the 836. Uh, for me, once again, it's definitely a higher end sound. I have a lot of fun with it uh, the last few days. I actually, I'm very happy now when I listen to it. Uh, ha I have a pair of my Accuface uh, C222 MIP266. <laughs> Uh, in the past, I said, you know, you need a high power amp to drive it. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you need warm equipment. Uh, I mean, you need uh, amps and preamps that, that have that warm sound to drive it. So with this combo here, I can push the volume a little bit and it will still be okay. But having said that, it, it was not uh, smooth sailing, right? Uh, when I first got it, I turned it on and my first reaction was, Oh darn, here we go again. Now I got to spend time uh, figuring how to make it sound the best, right? And it, it takes a bit of effort, but the reward is definitely worth it. If you ever hear a Focal set up properly, they are quite amazing. So with that, I I'll, I'll guess I'll end the video. If you're curious uh, into, if you're curious uh, what I've <laughs> did in the last few days, I even go borrow a 55 watt amp just to, just to test it. Uh, check out my second video. Alright, so I'll see you next time.